Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Today is Tip of the Day number 62. Thanks for tuning in. In today's Tip of the Day, I'm going to touch on three of the procedural presets that we have not yet discussed. In previous Tips of the Day, I've talked about all of the procedural presets except for the last three, that being the ramp, spline, and round presets. And I uh, didn't talk about them before because for a couple of reasons. The first one is I didn't really fully understand them myself. The second is they're relatively advanced. Uh, and the third is there was plenty of other stuff to cover. So, uh, but today I'm going to show you really briefly what these presets can do. Uh, they are very powerful, and I think you'll find that you'll get a lot of use out of these working in the motion editor. So first, let's start off with the ramp preset. What I've done is I've created a spy here. I've spawned a spy, and I pulled in his taunt animation, the, uh, the laughter one. So that's fun. And uh, just by way of getting set up, I selected his right forearm. I just picked something at random because we're not really interested necessarily in the motion or in the in the animation specifically, but in what we can do to the motion data. Uh, for reference, when you're looking at any source filmmaker animation, for example, if I select the whole spy, we can see all these squiggly lines, and that is all the motion data in the selected model. You can also, of course, select individual bones and see their motion data. So we already know this, or we should know this. So when you apply these presets, it's going to be applied to selected motion data. So you can apply it to all of the spy's model bones by selecting this, or just by selecting one bone or control clicking several. Uh, you can apply procedural presets to whichever elements you have selected. This is all stuff that I think we should already know, but I wanted to kind of make sure that we were all on the same page there. So. What does the ramp preset do? Well, according to the documentation, the ramp preset creates a linear transition from the time selection's in point to its out point. For reference, when you're talking about a time selection, you're in the motion editor, the in point is where the time selection begins, and the out point is where the time selection ends. Easy peasy. So when we're talking about using the ramp preset, if I grab a certain amount of time and, a, and an element in the, um, uh, in the viewport, and then hit ramp, what happens is the, uh, the, the line is changed from the in point to the out point, a nice smooth transition. So we won't actually notice much here because the actual change in the animation is pretty minimal. But uh, we're really more interested in observing that now this, this line here is now a simple line going from the in point to the out point. So it takes wherever the in point was, and then ramps it to the out point. And if I was to change this and let's say move it here and then apply the ramp preset, well, it is a little bit, well, you can see it does, it does have an effect. But it is a minimal effect because we're really only man manipulating one bone and it's just jiggling up and down. But the point is not necessarily, again, what we see in the animation. I created that just to have something so I can demonstrate what the effect is on the motion data. Uh, so that is what the ramp preset does. It will create a smooth transition, just a, gr a, a, a gradient transition, a straight line from wherever the uh, uh, animation set value is, wherever the motion data value is at the endpoint point to the out point. Now let's talk about the spline preset. The spline, the documentation for the spline preset says, fits a B spline curve to the values at bookmarked points on the timeline that overlap with the time selection. What does that even mean? Well, first off, if you've been playing around with the uh, some of these presets, and if you grab the spline preset, you'll notice when I do this, the uh, this thing changes, but nothing actually happens. I mean, it doesn't actually change the data. It, becomes, it turns orange, which indicates that it was trying to do something, but nothing actually occurred. And I'll tell you why, because there's no bookmarks. Yes, you can use bookmarks in the motion editor. So I'm going to put a bookmark, a couple of bookmarks here. We'll put one here. And we'll put one here at the bottom of that, and we'll put one here up at the peak, and another one down here at the valley. So notice now we've got all these bookmarks that are inside the time selection. Now when I hit the spline, it does a, this is a B spline curve. It, it, uh, it just, it, it does a transition from each of those bookmarks up and down. So. Uh, that is what the uh, what the spline preset will do. It allows you to create a set of bookmarks within the time selection and say, all right, I want you to apply a nice smooth gradient to these. And uh, just like the rest of the presets, you can you can do it partially or you can do it completely. And if you do it completely, you can see you get these nice straight lines, which are going to look a little harsh, but you can you can smooth them out later if you like. So that is the spline preset, and it will only work with bookmarks that are actually inside 
the, uh, the time selection. Notice also, unlike with bookmarks in the graph editor, you can move them around and they don't actually have a direct effect on the motion data because these are bookmarks intended to just mark points in time. They're not modifying the motion data. If you move, move, move bookmarks in the graph editor, well, you're modifying the motion data. So now the last of our three uh, presets tonight is going to be the round preset. Let me get rid of these bookmarks just because they're just going to be in. Oops, I shouldn't do that. Let's just do, 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 go back a little bit. All right. So now the round preset. The documentation for the round preset says, takes samples at the edges of the time selection hold and fall offs and uses them to round out the motion data. Again, if you've played with any of these presets, you might have grabbed some time and tried to apply the round preset and gotten an effect like this, which is very similar to the ramp preset, uh, if you notice, because it just does the same thing. But that's because there is no hold or fall off. The, uh, uh, the hold and fall off is if you press shift and expand and, and use the mouse wheel and expand, this is the hold, this is the fall off of the time selection. Now, if I hit the round preset, we get this very smooth, rounded uh, uh, line. And here, watch. We can combine a couple of these to cr create some interesting effects. I'm going to put these bookmarks back in or put in new ones. Uh, put them at the peaks here. Okay, so now I'm going to, then I'm going to grab and say I'm going to do a spline, and then I'm going to round it. Well, that didn't, let's see, I, didn't, I shouldn't have uh, rounded it that much. I only meant to do about halfway. So with the round preset, it's you can you can you can smooth out this stuff. You could also use, of course, the smooth preset. It's a it's a way of experimenting to uh, to produce different effects. The point, however, is that when you apply the round preset, it will actually take the hold and fall off, which the hold is the area between or at the beginning. Uh, as it gets into the, this is the end point, this is the hold area, this is the out point, this is the fall off, and it will apply this nice smooth curve. And this is something, a tool you can use to create nice smooth transitions between uh, elements. And I'm reasonably certain we'll see a lot of that being used in the upcoming Valve tutorials on more pose to pose animation, which uh, they've got one of those out and I'm looking forward to the next one because it's exciting stuff. All right, that's your tip of the day, number 62. To recap, the ramp preset will create a nice straight line from the in point to the out point. The spline preset will create transitions for, uh, to bookmarks within the time selection, and the round preset will smoothly apply uh, a, uh, a gradient across. Uh, it takes samples at the edges of them inside the, uh, inside the hold and fall off and makes this nice smooth gradient across the time selection. So that's the ramp spline, and whole, uh, ramp spline and round presets. I hope they are useful. I encourage you to experiment with them and see what you can do with them. Uh, I am your host, Jimmer Linz. I sincerely appreciate you tuning in, subscribing to my YouTube channel, and for all the great feedback. It is wonderful to hear from you all. Uh, I thank you again. I look forward to bringing you the next tip of the day. And until then, enjoy using Source Filmmaker.